does it mean to, to have this club in Europe? It means a lot. Um, you know, we're not a club who, who play in Europe. If you look through our history, we haven't been, you know, blessed with having been in there all that often, albeit eight of the last 15 seasons that we have. Um, but yeah, it's, it's really exciting for the supporters. It's really exciting for every club. It's a lot of work for us. Um, you know, a lot for the staff to do to be here. But no, it's really, it's a really exciting. It's nervous as well. Um, so you go through a range of emotions. But for a fan-owned club like us to be involved in the Euro European competition is fantastic, both on and off the pitch. And it makes for a really exciting, um, you know, evening for us. And hopefully, the start of a, a busy European campaign. Just speaking to some of the fans that are about it, the fact you are a provincial club and you know you are fan-owned. It seems to me a lot to them to get these nights and obviously away next week and you know, possibly away to Prague further down the line. Yeah, I think it's important to say, and I'm going to say this off the bat, that we need to win this game first before we think about anything else. But I think that's the joy of being a supporter because you can't allow yourself to dream of these things. Um, but from our point of view, um, it's, 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 it's fantastic. Uh, it's really exciting. It's opposition that you've not often played before or never played before. And, you know, There's always that little bit of mystery. Sometimes in Scotland we play each other so much. Um, so I think that's one of the joys of European football is that, that, that almost that unknown and that excitement of the unknown. So they're really, really looking forward it and hopefully as I said they'll learn us to start of something uh, exciting for this campaign. Eight times in 15 years you know look at the resources of other clubs who won't be able to boast that record. Also something to be proud of as a, as a, for yourself firstly but also for the football club. Yeah I, I think this I think I'm right in saying this but I think this is now we are now joint with Kilmarnock as the kind of non-city clubs of most European appearances or seasons in Europe. Uh, and, and it's brilliant and most of that's came in that period of time. So from that from that point of view I'm really um, I'm really proud of everybody at the club. I'm really proud of the hard work and effort that goes to get here. And I suppose nights like tonight are just a culmination of a full season Season's worth of effort, you know. Um, so from that point of view, um, listen, last season was good. Last season's done now. Now it's been kicking on to this one. But no, I'm really proud of 8 and 15 is really good. They've had Champions League football in there against Panathinaikos. They've played Levante, they've played Stoya Bucharest, they've played Malmsey. Tonight it's, it's the turn for Sligo Rovers and we're really excited about that too. Football for a club like Marvel, it's, it's massive. Absolutely massive. You know, it's it's not just for the, the football club; it's massive for the whole town. As you know, like people from Ireland have came over, the knock-on effect that will have in local businesses. It's brilliant to see, and, and for people like us that go week in, week out, it, it puts a spring in your step. I was up this morning early, bells went out a run, and I had uh, the tunes blaring, and I ran a couple of minutes faster than I usually do. You know, it's it's just exciting. It's great to have people here, great to welcome people from all over the world to Motherwell, uh, and we get to go to other places as well. So it's it's some buzz. What, what, what tunes was it? Was it Motherwell, Motherwell Anthems? <laughs> no, no, I can't. I can't listen to any Motherwell Anthems. That's maybe a bit uh, self-indulgent because we <laughs> recorded the last one in my band. So, uh, no, God, I, what was I listening to this morning? Do you know, this is, it's not like a fast one, but I was listening to a wee bit of Pile on a Teeny, listening to a bit of Blink-182. It's my favourite band. Still a wee bit of Emotion at Heart, so, aye. Do you feel like it is though in the local area? You, you can sense a sort of kind of buzz around like tonight's game and, and stuff like that? Absolutely, you know, uh, don't get me wrong, Sligo Rovers aren't a massive club, but this is the most tickets we've sold for a match uh, in probably four or five years. It's been a bit of a shame the last time we qualified for Europe, fans were unable to go because of Covid, so we played in Israel, we played in Northern Ireland and we weren't able to go, so I think people have got that, you know, excitement, you know, European football's back, let's get there, let's try and fill Fair Park and, and let's make it a, a night to remember. I'm sure a few fans made those trips even during Covid, I remember the Death and Vale game when the fans were up and uh, pictured on the wall. <laughs> Absolutely. Away next week, are you going? Aye, I'm going over to Ireland, very lucky enough to, to get a ticket in the ballot. So, buzzing about that, flying into Dublin uh, on the Wednesday, going to go and do a wee trip at the uh, Guinness factory on the Wednesday, head down on the Thursday morning. I'm sure, the locals will welcome us with open arms and uh, hopefully we'll pump them and then go up the road. And what does it mean like, in, in terms of like a Marvel fan? Because like, you know, you're not with favourites to win trophies every season, like, you don't get European football every season. Does it mean even more to you when it, when it does come around? Yeah, it, it means a lot. I mean, this might sound stupid to Celtic or Rangers fans, but for me, the most important thing is having a football club to support. Uh, so, as you probably know, we're a fan owned football club. Uh, you know, the largest shareholder is the Wealth Society, which is the fans. So, when we're punching well above our weight. You know, you've got teams like Hearts, Hibs, Aberdeen, Dundee, Dundee United, who 
aren't necessarily getting into Europe in a small club from a provincial town like Motherwell is, you know, it's, it's amazing and uh, we need to treasure these moments. How far can you go? I think we'll win it. I definitely, <laughs> definitely think we'll win it. We're going to Prague if we get through against Sligo, but we'll be back uh, in May in Prague for the final as well, I'm pretty sure of that. Some away do that, Prague. <laughs> it's going to be a laugh out. Oh yeah, it's huge, you know, having the backing of the Well Society and Kelsey! the march of the Well Boys that have been on tonight. <laughs> so, uh... Kelsey! Kelsey! Here we go! What a Hi everyone, my name is Nicole from G4 Claims. We are so, so, so proud to be the back of shirt sponsors for Motherwell Football Club. It is amazing to be part of the club. They have the same um, values as we do, community work, working with the fans, all their work with mental health. It's absolutely amazing and we are proud to support them as a local business. It's amazing to see them in Europe. Good luck, Motherwell. <laughs> It's a bad, bad game for us, but we're not ready to play yet. We've not got a team that's knitted together. Do you think that's the, the main issue? I think for me, I think there is a team there. 